The dictionary definition of moisturizer is a cream or lotion used to prevent dryness in the skin. We've already talked about the importance of emulsifiers for lotions, creams, and moisturizers, but let's take a video to talk about the other extremely important ingredients humectants, emollients, and occlusives. Without these three ingredients, you won't be hydrating, moisturizing, or preventing trans epidermal water loss. I think oftentimes that the words hydrating and moisturizing are used interchangeably, but the main difference between the two is that hydrating typically comes from water-soluble ingredients, humectants, and moisturizing typically comes from oil-soluble ingredients, emollients. Then there are occlusives, which help lock in all of that hydration and moisture. Typically, these are oil-soluble ingredients. So all three of these ingredients, while they may seem similar, they're all essential to creating the perfect moisturizer. Now we are starting to actually see why it is so important to blend those water-soluble ingredients and oil-soluble ingredients to create moisturizers. Humectants. Humectants are hygroscopic, which means they absorb water. Humectants absorb water either from the environment or from our skin, from the dermis or epidermis, which explains why for some, if only using a humectant in a product can actually cause dryness. For example, those who use a hyaluronic acid serum in a humid climate will have much better results than those who use it in a dry climate. This is also why you have heard to apply a hyaluronic acid serum on damp skin instead of dry skin. Trans epidermal water loss is often abbreviated as TEWL, and it's the the measurement of how much water that is lost from our skin. Humectants can either be heat sensitive or not heat sensitive. And if they aren't heat sensitive, you can add them to the heated water phase of your emulsion. But if they are heat sensitive, you wanna add them to the cool down phase of your emulsion. So here are some examples of humectants, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, propendiol 1,3, propylene glycol, urea, sorbitol, alpha hydroxy acids, and that's just to name a few. Emollients. Emollients help soothe and soften the skin. They essentially fill gaps in our skin. Think about when your skin is feeling really like flaky, dry, and rough and like scaly. If you add a oil on your skin, like olive oil, immediately that problem is solved. Your skin looks a lot better. And this is because the emollients are literally filling in the gaps in between your skin cells to help smooth everything out. But of course, this is just a temporary relief. And that is why we need to use a blend of humectant emollients, and occlusives to help dry skin. Examples of emollients are plant oils like jojoba oil, olive oil, coconut oil, hemp seed oil, sunflower oil, etc. Emollient esters like caprolic capric triglyceride, isopropyl myristates. I'm sorry if I butcher any of these names, but this is also abbreviated as IPM. Cocoa caprolate slash caprate. C12-15 alkyl benzoates. Ethyl hexyl palmitates squalane, dimethicone, cyclomethicone, cocoa butter, shea butter, many other butters, the list goes on and on. Occlusives. Occlusives create a hydrophobic barrier, which literally means water hating over the skin to help prevent trans epidermal water loss. Occlusives often get a bad rep because they do create this layer over the skin. Some may say that this clogs pores and causes acne, but it's actually quite the opposite. Occlusives help protect the skin by keeping out external stressors and it creates this barrier over the skin to lock in all of that moisture and hydration. So some examples of occlusives is petroleum jelly. You may have heard of, I think people call it slugging and people will put a layer of petroleum jelly over their skin at night. This is because it's an occlusive and it helps prevent trans epidermal water loss. Mineral oil, lecithin, linolin, cetyl alcohol, stearic acid, caprolic capric triglyceride, squalane, and waxes like beeswax, candelilla wax, sunflower wax, the list goes on and on. And as you can see, some I listed here are also emollients. So some ingredients can do both. So as you can see, there is so much importance to using humectants emollients and occlusives in our moisturizers and when you're using the perfect blend of all three you can create the perfect 
moisturizer. Make sure you guys come back for my next video, which is all about things to consider before making your next solution. Don't forget to go over and check me out over on Patreon where I post two bonus videos every single month. So there is so much content that you guys can go binge watch over there just for $5 a month. And for $10 a month, you can get a small business shout out. So let's shout out the small businesses. Nature's Farm Girl, thank you so much. Also, everybody's links will be in the description box. Let's blend, hempygirl.com, thank you. Seventh House and Oak on Etsy, at Black Petal Beauty on Instagram, Owl and Lily on Etsy, Zayalamore.com. I hope I said that right. EmbraceBeautyEssentials.com at Stardust Bath and Body on Instagram. And that is it. Thank you so much. If you would like a small business shout out, go over to my Patreon.